businesswoman, a gospel artist, and basically that's me. Okay. And I uh, began my music journey mm. in 2017. Yeah. I joined what other church choir mm. after some auditions. Yeah. Shortly after, still while in the choir, mm. I um, started to go out solo as well. Yeah. So I do two things. Yeah. I'm part of the church ministry mm. and I'm also doing my music. Your own ministry. So 2017, I released my song of sin, Dikuwachi. Yes. And then um, 2018, mm. Muguno Mwaka. Mm. Uh, 2019, several other songs, yeah. Addictive with Morgan Isaac, mm. Nyamba Mokama, yeah. uh, Wedding Day, mm. uh, 2020. Yeah, we got, we got something really nice. I've been mean, like really, you know, oh, we got so it. We're going to play today. Wow. Uh, yeah, you go. We're going to play it later on, really. Yeah. Because they don't want to open up what you got tonight. Yeah. And like people will say, what is that over? <laughs> I want you to be on the set. Well, mm. watch your TV screen back at home. But of okay. course, Aetho, let's mm. talk about you saying, uh, like you started your, what really made you to say, I want to join music? Because there are things that really have to make you go on something. Mm. Singing, becoming a recording artist. Mm. It's not like, I mean, like, I want to sing, but let me go and do music. Is it evangelism? Is it something that you wanted to put across to show the world, like me too, Ethel, I can do, I can get people, fetch souls back to our Lord? Yeah. Mm. I began music. Uh, I'm born in a musical family. Yeah. Um, all my siblings mm. are in church and mm. they're doing music, yeah. but different churches. Some yeah. are overseas, some are here. Mm. So we've grown up with that. Yeah in family mm. and then as i grew up at a certain stage yeah. i hadn't discovered myself mm. that i can actually sing like you've got the talent yes mm. but i love performing arts yeah so at one point i was a very good dancer mm -hmm. and then i got married and yeah. before i knew it mm. beyond family and career yeah. i still wanted to serve god yeah. i have the urge yeah. to evangelize to mm. inspire people mm. to heal souls yeah. to help the younger people realize that you know what it's exciting to serve god yeah so i joined mini Ministry, singing again yeah, really. of course with the support of family mm. it was a big push yeah. from my spouse well, your spouse uh, does not really say like you now my wife is a celebrity autograph what and what being so in fear you know some men fear if my wife is a singer or a musician like you got a lot of things people who are going to come near you shooting a video are going to radio tvs media tour what really comes in his mind because maybe it's a big trust he got for you no no, no. Mm. what happens is um i did the first things first yeah I did my um, my I, I did my preparations. Mm. Oh, I have a strong backbone. Yeah. I first raised the family. Mm. I was married for several years. Yeah. And uh, you first make sure everything in your home is mm. okay. Yeah. That was my first ministry. Mm. So I knew that now we everything is strong in there. Mm. We can stand the whatever happens. Yeah. So and we are a team. Mm. He gave me a big push, yeah. and he's seeing this thing grow. Generally, we are in it together. I can yeah. say, oh, yeah. but he is in the background. Yeah. Very so, so much support. I can say. Okay. So there is no worry or fear that she will be taken. He mm. already knows over the years that I mean, I haven't been taken. Then why now? <laughs> why now? No, ever when you're serving God, no, 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 no. What could you tell those mm. men who have their spouse or their ladies, and they feel like when she goes to attain, you know, to become? A gospel artist like what really advice could you give to that man who is watching us tonight mm. there is no fear in mm. serving god mm. let them soar yeah. in serving god mm. let your wives go follow them be a team yeah first things first if you do the right things in the home as a man mm. if you treat her right if you pray together if you're raising your family together you have time together why would you fear that the moment she leaves the day to go and sing for God, she'll be taken? Yeah. I don't think it is right. Invest mm. in your home, invest in your spouse, invest in your family. When it's time to rise up, to serve God, yeah. you will rise up together and there'll, no, there'll be no fear mm. for any distractions or shame. Okay. Mm. Then coming back to, we had uh, the lockdown, the COVID saga, which was on in the state, around the globe, really. Mm. Uh, as a gospel artist and as a gospel minister, what did you learn in this? Did you check yourself, really? Did you, what did you learn? Let, let me just uh, know about you. What mm. did you really gain uh, from the COVID-19, the lockdown? Mm. And it has changed a lot of things. Mm. What are really lessons you, you got, you know, for us tonight and those people who are watching? Mm. Yeah. Um, COVID-19 came as a blessing to mm. some people. Yeah. 
of course it has done damage to many mm. some families business yeah. all that all those mm. dynamics mm. in my home yeah it blessed me surely it blessed me in a way that uh, i have a spouse who travels a mm. lot mm. across, across the, the globe. world yeah lockdown got them here <laughs> <laughs> so now, yeah. So we got a lot of uh, family time together, mm. uh, children bonding. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it was a good time to okay. refresh. Mm. Then, as a minister, mm. it gave me a time to search myself. Yeah. I have been too busy. Mm. I do a daytime job. Yeah. I do ministry. I have children. Mm. I do business. Yeah. But lockdown slowed down my life. Yeah. Of Calm down. Calm down. Yes. Yeah. So I found time to to, to search myself, yeah. understand who I am in God, mm. understand that do I still need the ministry? Can I still push? Should I end here? Yeah. It gave me time to evaluate myself and actually came out knowing that you know what, mm. I have to push higher and higher. better mm. out of the lockdown. Out of the lockdown. Yeah. Okay. That's how I came out with a new mm. release shortly after that. Okay. Mm. And then when we come back, the lockdown has changed a lot of things. Performances, uh, people were like setting up concerts, mm. uh, people were like setting up, you know, now we can't really do the same as we used to do, move around here and there. Uh, mm. Now when you're talking about uh, good, the goodness of COVID-19, when mm. it comes to the musical part of it, mm. how we should really, because I've seen virtual music, but online concert, you yourself, uh, it has given a way of saying, now I have to go so much internet or be online, sell mm. up my music, mm. uh, we no longer need to travel. Mm. What have you learned through, like, when I'm supposed to, uh, you know, give out my music to the media people or mm. to market my music? Mm. You on your side. Following COVID, mm. we've, now we are embracing the new normal. Yeah. Everything has gone digital. Mm. You can see when the campaigns are going digital. online. Scientifically. We have to embrace technology. Mm. As artists yeah. now, you know, Kwezula, we have to come out of our shell. Mm. We have to prepare for the online concert. Yeah. We have to prepare to get partners mm. to support our ministries. Yeah. Because it's now getting harder Surely. to work alone. You yeah. can't wake up and do a concert on your own. Mm. You really need support from fellow ministers. Mm. You need advice. You need mentors. Yeah. I really think we are ready to embrace it and I think every artist should, mm. embrace, should embrace the that. new normal. Oh. It's happening mm. all over and we should be ready for it mm. and we should be ready to still preach the word of God okay. with whatever changes that have come in the world now. Okay. Mm. And of course Ethel is there to pray. Ethel is here to premiere a new song called Gwen in our mind. That video was so super. I was part of the people uh, on the video when we were making this video with my producer and of course a lot of things. So I want uh, Ethel really to give me a couple of this song Song, a Gwen in our money, and of course, it's a beautiful piece, it's a beautiful song done by God's Love Records in Kawempe and mm -hmm. produced by St. Peter. Is it St. Peter, really? Yeah, so give us a couple about Gwen in our money. Mm -hmm. People want to know how between Auntie our money, yes, <laughs> of yeah. course. Don't forget, we are on channel Star Times, channel 295. Uh, if you're watching today, it's that's our channel number on Star Times, and of course, Go TV free to air. We are everywhere, mm -hmm. and of course, we are streaming live on Facebook. You can tell us, uh, you can really put on your comment and tell us any question for Ethel, you can hook us that comment, and then of course we can give her the comment mm -hmm. about her musical journey. So Ethel, Gwen in our money is the song that you're going to sing right now, mm -hmm. and of course my producer will be taking me to the song, right? Wow. Yeah, really. And so, uh-huh, Chutani Kao. I'm built on a rock, nothing can move me, Gwen in our money, even the gates of hell cannot prevail, Gwen in our money, woo! Everything is sorted into the life of our might. God, of course, Gwen in our money. It's a new song, a brand new song done by Ethel. And of course, let's really get to know about the uh, what is that uh, do you have any testimony about this song yeah i mm. do tell us about lots of testimonies yeah. surely mm. when in our man mm. <laughs> he has brought me this far yeah um uh, i'll first testify about my musical journey yeah really it's been quite short mm. having started late 2017 mm. i'm counting about maybe two and a half years yeah making three and uh i think i've been so blessed yeah 
I came in mm. and uh, picked up immediately. You were vibe everywhere, like, right? I don't know how God, I mm. think God was waiting for me or mm. something. Maybe I delayed wherever I was, mm. but I really thank God because sure. I had just joined and I began uh, getting musical awards. Yeah. A few months in, into the music, uh, I was given Rising Female Artist of the Year. Yeah. Before I knew it, last year I had mm. inspirational song of the year. It's yeah. called Moguno Mark. Mm. High School Awards as the Artist of the year, High school, gospel, yeah, uh, gospel. Mm. gospel artist of the year, yeah. combined men, women. Mm. Last year, I, I yeah. came to, to. I don't know how God has. In two years, I'm running with three musical awards. In the God is telling you, you know what? There's something about you. Surely. you better pick it up and go preach the world. It's a blessing, really a big blessing. A big blessing. Shavol and then yeah. other mm. things, my family yeah. is doing well. Surely. And I thank God for the that. The children are doing well. I saw them. They're so happy. <laughs> very. <laughs> really? Yeah. And uh, mm. my career is yeah. uh, doing very fine. Mm. Um, I thank God for many things. Yeah. Maybe a yeah. lot. Mm. Mm. Uh, so coming back to our topic, we have how should artists craft good melodies? How do you really craft your melodies? Mm. You know? Uh, because I find myself like, uh, I'm with a group. I was, uh, some artists posted in saying, I know my songs are fake. They're not good. And of course, you're still doing the music. Yeah. How do they I mean, how do they gauge how fake they I mean, why I would you really. wake up and do fake music? Yeah, it's because someone mm. is posting in, I know my music is not good, it mm. can't be played somewhere, it mm. can't do, and then you wake up still in the morning, get back to the studio, mm. do this some um, music. Mm. Same music. Yeah, you know? and you know, they're not right. <laughs> so so uh, mm. I just want to tell you, yeah. music is inspired by the Holy Spirit. Mm. You don't wake up from your sleep and go and just sing. Yeah. You, it's a calling. Mm. If God has sent you to do that. Yeah. Then you're going to go out there, do it, and mm. it will actually be played. Yeah. Look at the song when in our man. Mm. Full of scripture. Surely. Psalms 23. The Lord mm. is my shepherd, I shall not want. There are things you consider in there. Look at the message. Mm. First of all, pray about it. God gives you a message. Yeah. And then work with your producers and tell them this is what I want. Surely. I wanted, particularly this song, mm. I wanted to sing everything scripture. Mm. Eh? Yeah. I've built my church upon this rock, yeah. and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Really? That's Matthew 16, 18. Yeah. I mean, scripture, everything is inspired by the Holy by Spirit the Holy to Spirit. do mm. with music. Surely. If you are called into that line, mm. if, if you have a calling yeah. for that ministry, God is going to guide you through. And perhaps you have to pray so hard mm. about everything. Because if you're wondering why you sing, they don't play. Why you sing, Teddy They don't play. You don't go, why? you know? Yes. Mm. It's very discouraging. But again, probably it's also not your time. Yeah. Everything has its time. Mm. Maybe it's not yet your time. You're forcing life to be. You want to be somewhere where you're not you're yet not supposed yet. to be, really? Exactly. Yeah. So it gets very frustrating. Mm. Probably God is telling you, first do something else. First yeah. be an usher or first work mm. in the children's ministry. Oh, I mean, oh, prepare yourself. Yeah. Or maybe there's something. Surely. You understand? But yeah. God is speaking through all those times of failure mm. and disappointments. If we listen to his voice, yeah. you will understand. And when the time is right, mm. everything will happen. So that means godly time is right. It's about the time oh, okay. of God. Godly yeah. time. Yeah. Okay, of course, our time is not our best ally. Of course, the song is so beautiful. I want Ethel to give us our last words. But of course, Marcel and DJ, again, will be playing this song once more again. Because Gwenina Wamani is doing so well. Or 